see if we can get some hair dryers. I've Hair dryers, can't build on water, can't build on water, place is occupied, place is occupied, okay. So I guess the hair dryers have to go up. Welcome everyone, uh, we're sitting with the eagles uh, here over our little settlement that we've begun. It's looking very, 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 very sexy, I must say. Um, if you've enjoyed our time so far, um, please, uh, please leave a comment, I'd really appreciate that. Um, a like and a subscribe also valued um, and if you see feel like it and you haven't really enjoyed thing you can also hit that dislike button uh, I mean I might be a little bit sad but no you're more than free to do it you are your own human do whatever you will so we've spent a lot of time in the last few episodes uh, trying to play some careful resource balance balancing games really making sure that there's enough food um, that we've got enough uh, money flowing into the into the settlement and I kind of think the biggest things we've done is laid out these bridges uh, which are quite far back on our line and we also started building a chicken coop I think we might have got a little bit ahead of ourselves but I think the most important things to try and do this episode are to try and get some more houses up we just don't have enough humans in this village uh, there are a lot of open jobs and we need some more houses so that we can attract some more people and fill those positions uh, fields are also really important, so getting this field up and running here, I think that's that field. Yep, that's that field there. Um, it's going to be really important. Uh, we want that up and running in time for next season, 100%. Um, and then I think that uh, this forestation area, I'd like to get up and running quite quickly. Uh, I think that uh, it's going to help us really plan out exactly what we're doing uh, in this sort of corner of the world. It's going to round things off the back here this rural back end of our town before we sort of start expanding yonder way and across the river. But I think the first task for today before we start speeding things up is actually to place in a couple more transport nodes because uh, I think transport is something that we have not actually nailed which is part of the reason why our efficiency is so low. So I've got this cart parking lot over here and I thought that what we could do is we could uh, pop one of them along here. I thought that that might be quite nice, service this little farm area here, I think that that kind of put down there, sort of come grab a cart, pop off and finish things down there, I think that that's quite cool. So let's uh, actually throw that park cart uh, up, the, up the list there of uh, important things to build, and I was thinking we could build another one. I had my eye on another one, down at this end of the world where we are in park now, there you go. We're going to do the same thing, and swing it around I think. Um, Let's not put it there. Swing it around so that we can kind of throw it in here. Um, with its back facing that way um, and the entrance facing this way. And the reason why is because then we can put a row of trees on the back and kind of pretty it, make it sort of a, a feature of this of this area here. Help us fill out this, this weird triangle that we have going over here. I'll show you just now uh, what I have in mind. So let's put that one down there. That's another cart parking lot parked up there and I think that they should be built fairly quickly actually and it's just like waiting for some nails and etc um yep so that's that's that well that's going there let's actually speed up time uh, get the game going a bit uh, I think the next thing that we want to do is we really want to get that tree uh, that tr that this 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 field this field is it's really important and then those houses there um, and I think that ultimately, what I really want to do is we need to add another field here to this uh, to this farm. Uh, I really like how this is developing here. Actually, this is going to be very interesting when it's uh, all grown out and it's actually a little forest, this little thicket here. Um, quite like that actually. I'm very impressed with how that's turned out from a design perspective. But what I kind of wanted to do is I think that that's where we fall. I think we need to do it about here. And that gives us our entrance right there, opposite that exit, so that's there, yep. Um, and let's just go up a bit soon, I think we can make a bit of a square now. Uh, let's make this a big field, I want to try and make this as big a field as I possibly can, too long, there you go. Um, let's try and make this a huge field actually, uh, let's do, yep, and let's do it to there that's a massive field so that is our last field right our last gigantic field that is linked to that farm there 
Um, and that, I think, is all the way down there. There's 47 trees to clear, and that is a lot. That is a huge chunk. Um, I'm always going to throw this reforestation area back down along the, uh, the line here. There's no reason to clear the trees in there and start planting trees until we've actually cleared all the trees that we want to clear everything else. This is always going to get, I think, slightly bumped down the, down the queue. Let's actually put it all the way down to the bottom. I don't know. Let's say those two are it's, it's interweaving, but there's a lot going on, so, so not, much, not much that we really need to think about here. Now, over here is where our farm is, and what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to get our next residential area in along here. Now... It's kind of, it's going to feel very strange because there's this area over here that's open. Um, and I think there's going to be some uh, farming, uh, farming production areas that will eventually go in here. But I want to start another residential area over here. Um, I just think it'll look cool um, and also pri provide a little bit of variety. Yeah, and, and perhaps it'll mean that somewhere up over here eventually comes a little another market area, I think. Um, to sort of complement that one down there. Very much a rural back end farming community back here. So what I was thinking of doing here was lining, trying to line that one up in a nutshell with the edge of that field. So we create like this sort of natural path that's going along here. And we kind of extend that to, let's extend that to, let's try and keep quite a big buffer along that field there. So we keep the, that rural sort of feel. Um, and let's put him over, I think that's quite cool, there, um, and I think let's put another one in over here, and a third one up over here for now, and I think that that will help us plan <clears throat> what will be a, the beginnings of a new area over here, and I, and I think uh, a new sort of residential area that sort of spans out here in the back end of this rural farm area. A lot of the, a lot of the people who staff our, our agricultural uh, industries will end up living around here, I think. Um, and let's just uh, punt this all the way up. These these houses are very important, so we're gonna push them up on the list. Um, definitely push them up on the list. Uh, uh, let's actually push that down to there. Um, that one up, that one up, that one up. I want to put the one that is the lowest, so that one is the least, and let's do that like that. Cool. Right. And let's press 3. Okay. So we really want to try and get uh, get uh, get things going. That field is super important. Oh, good. Our thing's up. So let's order some carts. Um, where was our other one? Over here. That should give us our carpentry something to do. Are you ordering carts? Yes, you are. You're building carts. That's good. Um, and I think that will greatly increase the efficiency of what we're doing here. And it's lovely to see our charcoal production area here pumping along. A uh, really nice little industry area we managed to create here. In fact, this whole entire layout of this town is really, I'm really quite liking it. It's got that, it's sort of gridish, but it's got that definite, it developed organic organically kind of nature. I'm really liking this little feature that we actually did here. I think we're gonna have to do a few more of those at some points uh, along here. Maybe uh, maybe one over here. Um, I quite like the way they kind of stick out and provide a bit of relief. Um, these trees along here as well, that's gonna look pretty good uh, once they're up. Uh, really fantastic actually. Um, and we really are thinning out the forest here. This was, a, this was all forest when we started. All forest, in fact actually this was forest over here, over here. Wow, we've actually really made quite a dent into this into this forest here. And it looks like we're starting to chop down trees here. Um, it's November. Um, and uh, yeah, we we're down to uh, we're down to to off season off season workers right now. Uh, only two only two workers on the farms each, I think. Two workers on the farms each, yeah, two workers on the farms each and the manager. Um, they're just uh, threshing the crops from the past season um, And I think that we might have quite a bit of sunfire oil coming out here. Do we have do they work during uh, this time of year? You know what actually? They shouldn't be working in January. They shouldn't be working. So they should be working January February no, no, no. And it's this area this part of the world. So May, June, July, August 
kind of start working September again, I suppose. It's four, five, five months a year off. Yeah, five months a year off. They should be doing working now in winter while, while there is stock um, of, uh, of, of sunflowers uh, to, to uh, yeah, to, I guess, uh, make oil. Um, sunflower oil in here. Yeah, there's a thousand sunflower oil in there. That's good. Uh, is there sunflower oil stocked in here? There's 600, 500 oil in here. Let's actually just bump this up here to 1,500, shall we? 1,500. Let's always make sure we have, uh, in fact, actually 2,000. I'd like to try and uh, have a lot of sunflower oil in here, uh, just so we never kind of run out. Um, right, what happened there? Oh, we got that field. Ah, okay. Now, this field is complete. I think what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and replicate five. So this is going to be sunflowers, uh, buckwheat, uh, fallow, uh, potatoes, potatoes, wheat, uh, wheat, fallow. And let's activate it, activate it, activate it. How do we activate the field? Where we go, activate the field. There you go, activate the field. And the field is activated, and that means we have another field ready for the next season, which I am very happy about. Uh, we do have sunflower in stock. Great. Sunflower oil in stock. Let's actually up this again to... Let's try and put this up to... to 3,000, because I think that we have sunflower oil coming out of here. Um, do we have sunflowers? We got a lot of buckwheat. Um, I gotta figure out where they store um, where they store everything. So let's have a look here. Message. Uh, what does he want? Uh, okay, we can do some sunflower oil. Do we have buckwheat? Let's have a look. How much sunflower oil can we give you? We can give you. Do we have sunflower oil in here though? Not out of two thousand. No, we don't want to do that. So let's take this sunflower oil down here to a thousand. 500 because it looks like this trading post takes priority over our granaries right so let's take that down um, and let's say to you we can sell you 1500 buddy uh, 1500 it's a deal we can sell you a thousand five hundred uh, of that sunflower oil but that is all we can sell you uh, aerial that the sunflower oil has to go to uh, uh, the village, I think. Uh, do they bring the sunflower oil back? No, they don't. They're just going to keep it there, aren't they? The selfish. Okay, I guess our trade manager likes hoarding things. Uh, right, okay, so we got a frozen pit out here. Looks like the trees are growing here. That's good. Okay, what's next? Uh, this house. Is this house here? All the resources are collected. It's just down to the trees being chopped now. So do we have enough? Yep, we've got a full staff complement there. So I guess it's just down to them clearing trees now. Um, we've got seven trees left to clear. I suppose that was the one that had the most trees to clear, didn't it? Um, yeah, I think it had 14 to clear. So they really had a, they really had a ways to go there. Um, and hopefully that they will be able to get them down um, before or winter's over so at least we can get the first house up along here. Is this house up here? What house is this? Is this that house there? Let's bump that one up next and it'll run so that that one's built. Five, five, five and eight. Yep. We'll do that. Uh, and the one in the middle is going to be weird but uh, you know. Eight last. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's going to be very weird actually but uh, it'll look cool as it's been built. Um, Alright, so that's, uh, come on, three more trees left, uh, two more, um, I want to start building that house, um, how's everyone doing otherwise, uh, we got some money coming in, that was good, um, I think, yeah, there's still some more coming in, that's good, okay, cool, coffers, coffers or a backup, I like to see this kind of hover around here, I know we're not going to make any extreme amount of cash too soon, um, but, uh, I really don't want this to drop very far below 15, I don't think. 15 is kind of where I I want to try and keep it, uh, roughly. 
Um, it looks like we... Oh, we actually have people looking for jobs. Because it's winter. Um, which is interesting. Um, winter... Very few jobs in winter, it seems. And we got a house up. But that's cool because there will be jobs available soon and people will move in. Um, there will always be jobs available in winter, I think. Um, Off-season. There is no... Yeah, on-season... Off season, yep. Let's have a look here. Off season, on season. It's it's actually. Uh, oh, can we hire? A, yeah. Why don't let's just hire three more. We might as well have full staff complements where we can. Hey. Um. How's the? How are these guys doing? Current batch in progress. So oh, there's nothing to mill there. So they're all good. Uh, it's off season at the moment. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got a weird thing here where on season is only one month. Oh no, wait. Uh, it's not actually. It's those months there. Um, it's those months. Yeah, it's June, July. Two, four. Yeah, I think that's like roughly roughly during winter you want fewer guys so is that winter one two there's three so it's those months there so you want those months that's three yep there you go that's how you kind of want it i think um so that it's winter's got slightly fewer workers there um or maybe it's the other way around maybe it's winter where you want the workers and summer where it's less likely, you less kind of need them, if that makes sense. So you want the workers in winter and you don't want them in summer. Hey, yep, I think that's that kind of that kind of makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. So you want the workers in summer. Oh, look, this house is up. Is there someone living in it? Nope. This house is vacant and there's no one living in it. Oh, this one's also vacant. And um, but are there jobs? Oh, there definitely are. There are lots of jobs. There are lots of open vacancies. Okay. Blood in everyone. New family settling in the town. Good stuff. Uh, it's summer where we've got real job issues, it seems. It's during the summer where uh, employment is low. Uh, how are these guys doing? Yeah, fishing is popular because you get paid a slightly more, don't you? You always get paid slightly more for fishing. Um, so everyone goes fishing. Everyone wants to become a fisherman. In fact, actually, let's have a look at our population. Yeah, we got a couple of poor people, but healthy middle class, healthy sized middle class. I'm not too sad about that, really. I think there are some very poor families around here. Like, hey, yeah, they need some help. Let's get them up over 20. Yeah, they needed some help. They need some big help. Let's have a look. Who else is... There's some other families just below five. I think you might be just below five. Financial help. Yep, let's get you up. Yep, financial help. Financial help. This is a... There you go. We don't want a poor... We don't want any poor in this town. This is communism. Um, and we help people. So they have been helped um, with some money. And there's another house going up over here. Um, these are the definitely the, the houses in the in the forest. The houses in the forest, as you were. Okay, let's slow this down to one and have a look at what this guy wants. He is looking for sunflowers, buckwheat flour, sunflower oil. Wow, he's looking for a lot of sunflower oil. How much sunflower oil do we have? We have none. Oh, wrong building. We have a thousand four hundred sunflower oil. So we can give you some sunflower oil. Um, let's give you a thousand sunflower oil. One thousand sunflower oil, eh? Deal. Thousand sunflower oil. Cool. We need some money. So a thousand sunflower oil it is. Um, and uh, keep that keep that accounts trickling up as we've provided financial help to everyone and sell some sunflower oil so we can make that money back. Does so everyone grow? Yep, sewing over here. It's sewed. That's so good, that's so good. Good stuff, everyone. Good stuff. I like to see this happening. 
There's fields being sowed, um, which is a little, very, very good news. That means that we shall be producing a lot more food soon. I think that we need to look into plows. That's going to make us a lot more efficient. Uh, some trees going down here. I like this a lot. Um, I like this a lot. Lots of trees coming down here. So this row of houses should be built soon too, which is fantastic. Okay, so what's our next move? Um, I'm actually going to slow things down quickly. Um, and let's have a look at what we really need to be doing here. So I think that we need to be um, really upping our game uh, when it comes to things like um, plows. So how do we get plows? How do we get plows? We are going to need probably things to pull plows with uh, that means that means that means lots of things so hey let's have a look here when you place hedgerows grow nearby grass and you repair hairs used for food for animals in winter mowing season through ah okay so we actually need to put up some hair dryers <laughs> i knew i had forgotten something hair dryers seem like a very cool thing to place along this area of the world yeah maybe Along this front of town, and um, some trees there. Um, I think I might. Yeah, let's 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 see if we can get some hair dryers up. Hair dryers can't build on water. Can't build on water. Places occupied. Places occupied. Okay, so I guess the hair dryers have to go out this way. Let's see if we can get the hair dryers here. Hair dryers. Yeah. Okay. Hair dryers are, are coming out here. So hair dryers. Hair dryers are going to sit here, I think. Let's do one, two, three, four. Awesome, okay, cool. So we got four hair dryers out here. Um, and let's have a look at the Oh, let's lower the wages out here on these guys. So that's 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 out there for mowing season, um, which I think will help. Um, so that's that. So that's production. Then let's have a look at some of these other things here. Saddlery, saddlery. Where we're we going? We're going factories, um, slaughterhouses, forestries, farms, windmills, chicken coops. Okay, cool. Let's have this by there. Very essential chicken coop. Make sure to staff its wheat and water before the trader arrives. You can choose which resources to feed chickens in the supply options. Okay, cool. I did not know that. So let's have a look here. Um, so where we go? Resource supply. We're going to do by cart, by hands, and by wagon. Water, wheat, buckwheat. Okay, let's do... So yearly, um, four is unlimited. So they let's always have a stock of four and water, and, and let's do two... 200 buckwheat in here um, and are we gonna do off season and so like let's do let's do so that winter is on um, and winter's on and summer you're good summer you have those months there where you're good and those are off seasons so off seasons you only need two people and you need four or one person working there and on season you need three right so on season is in winter uh let's take these wages down already down to 60 that's actually 50. uh yep and apply to all yep apply to all um i think I think what that does is it will now chickens. Right. Okay. Live stock limit thirty. Okay. Cool. So um, they are now going to. I'm imagining going to move uh, um, resources through to um, the chicken coop so they can store, and then when the trader comes, we can buy some chickens. Um, it's April now, so there's actually only one worker working in there at the moment. So it's actually during winter which we're going to stock this, I think. Um, we're going to stock this during winter, because at the moment we're still growing. We are still growing things. Right, where do you work? 
Oh, you were. Oh, you see, this is this is what I was wanting. Lives and works very close to home. Brilliant stuff. Okay, up time to up the speed again, um, so that people can get a crack on here. I'm really liking this out here. This new set of houses. This is exciting me here because this really shows expansion. Um, I think this one here, we're still waiting for four trees to be removed, but we are in the middle of uh, summer, so there's always a reduced workforce in summer. In fact, we have two less uh, in summer. Um, f almost a full complement of fishermen, because that's important. Uh, that is very important. I think we're going to need to order and uh, I think get some salt in, I think, soon as well for some dried fish. Um, but we're gonna have to start. Uh, let's do that. Let's uh, let's have a look. We're gonna store some salt here, um, and I also think, yeah, that's all we're gonna store. We're gonna store some salt in here. Let's try and store two thousand salt in here, and get some salt. We'll get some salt in soon. Uh, we'll get some salt in soon. Um, can we? But is there a bakery? 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 No, there's no such thing as a bakery. I think they just make their own bread, don't they? Production water. Yeah, I think they just make their own bread. Um, I do think we're going to need a couple more granaries and warehouses. We're going to need a wagon shed and a stable. Stable very soon, I think. A hay stack is for hay storage, um, which we are definitely also going to need. Um, hay storage is going to be super important. I think we're going to do that along here, actually, because um, that's what this area here is for. Hay storage, hay storage, hay storage. So let's go one there, one there, um, one there. Uh, let's actually demolish that one. Um, let's do hay storage. Where's hay storage? Hay storage. Hay storage. There, yeah. That's that's how the hay storage is gonna go. Uh, it's gonna pump that one up the list actually. Let's pump these guys up the list. Let's get the hay storage up and running sooner rather than later. Um, I would like to get that hay storage up and running because it looks like uh, there is uh, hay drying. They've mowed grass um, and they are drying it out here on these uh, storage racks and they're gonna need to store it somewhere quickly. Um, we're gonna store some store some some hay, uh, store some hay for winter. Uh, I think it's gonna be super important. So we've actually did quite a lot of the list on this episode. We've got uh, I think we've got our transport up and running, which is really great. Uh, transport has improved things drastically. Uh, what is happening here? Are we still waiting for uh, parts? Uh, iron, charcoal. Oh, we don't have enough iron. Ah. We need to order more iron. We have run out of iron. So let's actually do that a little quickly. Let, let's actually, let's send a messenger and see if we can order some iron uh, from there as one of the final things we do on this episode. Um, perhaps some salt as well. Um, and I think that that shall be the final thing that we do before we close off, round off here. Um, and uh, yeah, good, good productive episode. Um, we are expanding rapidly. I mean, I know this feels like a corner here, which it is. We are kind of worked ourselves into their sort of edge of the map. There's the there's the red line, but um, right over here, uh, we we are gonna we're gonna fill this up. We're gonna complete what we've what we've started here, um, out the edge here with these hairdryers. I kind of like it uh, how that's happened happened over here. Um, and uh, yeah, that should that should help significantly. What have you got? You've got uh, you got iron, okay? We're at Balakia. Let, let's get some iron. Uh, two thousand iron. That's gonna cost us two. Yeah, that's a deal. Um, and do you have salt? You don't have salt. You don't have salt. What a pity. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, we can, however, sell you some sunflower oil. Um, can we? Let's actually see. Oh, what have you got? Balika, who have you come from? You're Rifa, right? you are demanding sunflower oil. Have you got chickens? Wheat, hemp, textiles? Nope, you don't. Uh, what do you, you want sunflower? You don't want, how much sunflower oil do you want? Do you want 1,000? How much do we have? 
Um, how much time travel do we have? I wish that we could find an easier way to do this. We only have 448. Okay, never mind. We're just going to get some uh, iron, I think. And it looks like we're harvesting some of the dry grass here. And we are bringing it over to our hay storages, our hay barracks. And I think that that, my friends, we're going to slow the game down here, is how we're going to end this episode. Uh, hay barracks for the win. Uh, summer ripening fields in the background and things are going swimmingly and um, really really enjoying things uh, so yeah please if you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have uh, please uh, drop a comment hit that like button subscribe if you haven't pass it on to friends and I shall see you tomorrow for episode 13 of Ostrich signing out